Kano State House of Assembly says it will soon pass into law the Free Maternal and Child Health Bill once it's transmitted to the State Assembly. The Speaker stated this during a two-day legislative retreat on Free Maternal and Child Health Care Bills for Principal Officers of Kano State House of Assembly organized by Center for Human Rights and Civic Education. Habida Lawal reports. Maternal morbidity and mortality rates in sub-Saharan Africa and in northern Nigeria in particular are very high, with many governments unable to implement the goals of safe motherhood. The number of maternal deaths recorded in Kano State from 2020 to date is over 2,000, which is the highest in the country. At this retreat, the Kano State Assembly members express commitment to ensuring that free maternal child health care gets the needed legislative backing, which will in turn increase women access to health care services. I am confident that at the end of this two days retreat, we will be able to come up with the final draft of the Kano State Maternal and Child Health Care Bill that will be ready for our transmission to the Kano State House of Assembly. The current fertility rate for Kano is 8.1, higher than the national figure of 5.7. Experts say this law can only be achieved in partnership with local government councils, adequate financing and awareness in the rural areas. So even the free maternal ahead be that we are pursuing today, it was just to ensure that the law is fully established. There is currently an executive order by the Kano state government for the implementation of uh, maternal and child health care in Kano state. But we feel very strongly the way it is being implemented at the moment should, uh, is not, you don't see equity and you don't see distributive justice. From the way the bill has been designed, it has carefully looked into the various sections or aspects where this uh, care is most needed and it has given specifications on what exactly is to be done by hitting the nail on the head. If this bill is passed, it will ensure that Kano citizens, especially women and children, are not victims of needless death through prompt and effective healthcare delivery. Inadequate manpower, poor remuneration, inadequate infrastructure and facilities have been identified to be a major problem of maternal health care delivery in Kano State. Sadly, this is also the case in most parts of health care service deliveries in Nigeria. Habida Lawal, TVC News, Kaduna.